our lives. We want to breathe. <laughs> we want to push that drama out of our lives. Welcome to Experience a Groove to Improve Your Life channel. Joey here. Now let's recap. I talked about getting you ready for the challenge. And you know how important it is to move that body, which all leads to your better health and wellness. But wait, there's more. Let's get at it. Now I want to talk about three things relating to doing too much too soon that I hear people asking all the time about. And I want to talk about your diet I want to talk about physical activity, and I want to talk about spiritual release and awareness. When it comes to diet, think about cutting down on your calorie intake. Cutting down or stepping down. For instance, if you know that you only need to consume 1,200 calories, and you're right now you're consuming 10,000 calories, I suggest you cut it down in increments, increments meaning going little by little, step by step. I suggest you cut it in half. Instead of trying to do it all at one time, at one time, or what I say sometimes, going from zero to hero, it's best that you do it little by little, step by step in increments. So if you know you should be at 1,200 calories and you're consuming, 10,000 calories, cut it in half. Cut the 10,000 calories into 5,000 calories. And here's the key. Stick with it for four weeks. Then, after that, after the, then cut it down again. From 10,000 to 2,500 calories, then cut it down to 1,200 calories or wherever you need to be. Because here's why. It'll give your body a chance to get into the rhythm and flow of the changes that you're making. Because they will be changes and your body will know that. So you just can't cut everything all out at one time. I watch a lot of shows who may who say different and say different. And I see people doing that and a lot of them are not successful because it doesn't necessarily work. You have to do it slow and steady. And as you know, it wins the race every single time. Okay, when it comes to physical activity, this is what I want you to think about and do. And let me be honest, I read your comments. I read a lot of comments from a lot of different places. And there's so many people out there who say, I do not work out at all or rarely do I work out. And if that's you, what I would tell you to do, once again, is not to do too much too soon, but do something. And when it comes to physical fitness, I suggest you go up in increments, meaning going step by step. For instance, if you know you don't work out at all, at least start with doing 15 minutes. Now I know you can do 15 minutes, because five minutes, 10 minutes really ain't gonna cut it in this day and age. So start with 15 minutes, then work your way up to 30 minutes, then work your way up to 45 minutes, then work your way up to an hour or more. Because if you're not working out at all, it will do you no good to run to the gym and try to throw yourself on the treadmill for <laughs> 30 minutes to an hour when you don't even do five minutes. Or go take a dance class and chop, chop, chop around knowing that you're gonna be out of breath and it's gonna wear you up or wear you thin. Or, you know, go and try to run, you know, in a marathon. I see so many people running in marathons, they're not even in shape and they haven't even practiced or uh, can't even do an hour worth of run and run, <laughs> can't do an hour and run, and then they go and say, wait a minute, I'm going to go do a marathon. But you're not even practicing, you're not even, you, know, you can't even get through an hour. But, you know, hey, so, what I'm saying is, work your way. When it comes to physical fitness, it is a matter of dance, it is not a matter of swimming, running, whatever it is, work your way up in increments. Run, 
15 up to an hour or more, which most health officials say we need at least an hour work of some kind of workout that works your cardiovascular as well as other things. You know, an hour's worth of that. So that would be my suggestion. When you're thinking about dieting, think about cutting down your calorie intake, going step by step and, and sticking with it four weeks each cut down step that you do. You know, and when it comes to physical fitness, the same thing. Stick with that 15 minutes for about four weeks and then go up again to about 30 and stick with it for four weeks, 45 and so forth and so on. Those are the things I think will help you become successful with it. Because another great thing is, it will help you to release those feel good endorphins that I've talked about in other videos. If it'll make you feel better about yourself that you're attempting to do what you can do. So now that you have step one, start with the end in mind, know your final goal, what it looks like, and what it feels like. You can move on to step two. Don't do too much too soon. And now, without further ado, here is step number three. Come here, follow me. Step number three is be consistent. I'm gonna say it again. Be consistent. One more time, be consistent. Now, let me tell you something. Here's the thing, even though you're consistent with whatever it is you do, working out, you know, uh, making better choices for your diet and eating, and uh, so forth, you, you should know this, that the results will not come right away. It takes time. I'll tell you why, because results love to sneak up on you and bite you. Oops, I mean, no, results love to sneak up on you. That's one thing I know for sure you can count on, because if you put in the hard work, and it may seem like you're getting nowhere, it's just a matter of time when you will see the results. All of a sudden, one day you'll step on that scale and you would have lost those pounds or you're going to dance class and you're frustrated because you can't get those steps. By practicing and practicing and practicing, you'll finally get it and you'll feel so good about yourself and when you do. And it'll be a slow progress, but eventually you'll get there with other things too. So that's why it's important to be consistent because it has its own thing going on and it will get you. Groove is going to get you, like I've talked about in other videos, sooner or later. And now let's talk about spiritual fitness and your release. You need to spend at least 15 minutes a day doing something, whether it's uh, working on your breathing, whether it's prayer, whether it's meditation, or all those things involved, because it helps you to relieve stress, to let go of the anxiety and the fear and also, one of the biggest things, the drama that tries to impact all of our lives. We want to breathe. <laughs> we want to push that drama out of our lives. And it's hard to do with such busy schedule on the go all the time. You need that spiritual fitness to help you center yourself and to help you know that everything's going to be okay. Life is a challenge for us all. But still, as long as we're moving our body and getting into the rhythm and doing the things that we need to do, then we can be successful and we can meet those challenges. 